hello. Today we're going to cook Dover soles. Um, it's quite an expensive fish. This is how they'll arrive to you from us. So they're going to have the head on, they'll be trimmed, and they'll be skinned both sides. We'll come back up to that in a minute. And what we're going to do to make it easier, first of all, is to put them on kitchen paper and dry the fish so they're like that. What we're going to do is cut the head off. So get a knife, kitchen knife like so, and just cut a 45 degree angle. Like that. That's it. Done. Now, going back to the Dover sole skins. Many times when you see them in a restaurant, you'll eat the top side of the Dover sole, and then when you turn it over, it will be all slimy. And that's because the restaurant or the hotel has left the white skin on. The purpose of that is when they turn it on the grill or in a frying pan, it doesn't break up. But the trouble is when you eat it, it's like jelly, it's not very nice. So I recommend we serve them with skin off both sides and I'll show you, it's not that difficult to turn the Dover sole, but that's why they do it. Anyway, onto the cooking. Big, big grill pan, enough for two Dover soles or one if you've got it. Now we've lined this with uh, foil and buttered it. And what we're gonna do first of all is season the fish. Salt, pepper. On one side for now. We're gonna finish off, finish off the bacon tray. The reason we're doing this is so when we grill the fish, it might stick a little bit, but it's not going to stick as much. And that's the problem when we're going to be turning the fish. But this is, we'll show you how easy it is. So, quite, you know, there's quite a bit of butter there. Now we're going to put some butter on the fish. The one we've just put the salt and pepper on. Like so. So melt the butter first in the microwave, on the hob. Uh, Right, we haven't done the other side of the fish yet, that's because we're going to turn it later. So, like so, and the other one, the other way if you can, if you've got a grill pan big enough for two. Right, right. Under the grill, Under the grill. top shelf. Okay, now. so the soda sole's been under about five, six minutes. When they're that colour, they're done. You haven't got to start putting your finger in, Getting a skewer, sticking it inside and out, burning your hands. You don't do that. When it starts to go brown, see it's just starting to go brown, it's done. Now it's only done on one side, we haven't cooked the other side. Now this is why they leave the white skin on, because turning it, they don't want the fish to break up. But anyway, if it's gonna stick, it's gonna stick it towards the tail where it's its finish. Luckily, none of this is stuck. Now we're gonna turn it. So get a cloth or a set of oven gloves, Get the, the fish slice in the middle of the fish. Turn it like that. Next one, middle of the fish, turn it like that. Now, back to the seasoning. So we need to put some more butter on this one, on this side. So we're gonna now cook the other side of the fish. Now I'm using a electric oven, electric grill rather. So that's up to 217. If it's gas, as high as it'll go. Total cooking time is probably about 10 minutes. Salt. Back under the grill. And we'll do exactly the same to the other side. Okay, okay, so another five minutes under the under the grill. That's the colour we're looking for. Dover soles are done. Take them out. Get two nice plates. Right, I'm going to see if they're stuck again. Right. Straight onto the plate. Like that. Another one. Onto the plate like that. Now, we're serving them with potatoes, but we can serve them with vegetables, salad, anything really, a wedge of lemons, some tartar sauce, you want everything ready really for the, because the Dover soles only take 10 minutes to cook, so everything nearly ready so the Dover sole doesn't go cold, otherwise you're not going to be waiting for it. And that's it. Dover soles under the grill, skin both sides. That's the important part. 